Would you like to be more successful? Then you're gonna have to give up on these 13 things. Hello my friends and welcome to The Simple Sober Life. I am Joshua and I help others make simple changes to create a life of awesome. Welcome my friends, I certainly hope that you're enjoying the content and that you've subscribed so that you get notified each time I create a video. So I was listening to my morning um, radio program as I do every morning. If you haven't listened to Elvis Duran, he's a New York City syndicated radio DJ, well, radio personality, um, that I live, listen to every day. It just kind of starts my day in the right way. And he was talking about this article that came out and it's called the 13 things that you need to give up in order to be successful. So immediately kind of piqued my interest. I'm like, okay, well, I'm always looking to make changes in my life so that I can take further steps to becoming the person that I ultimately want to become. And as he was going through the list, I'm like, check, 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 check. There are a number of different things that I need to change. But before we get into it, we should really define what it means personally for us to be successful. Does it mean making uh, better money? Does it mean having a job that you love? Does it mean being a better parent or a better brother or you know a better friend? What exactly in your life do you deem to be successful? And for everyone, it's going to be different. People value money um, over friendships. Uh, others uh, are just the opposite. You know, they are really uh, person and friend centric and don't really care about the materialistic things and the, uh, the money. So knowing what it is in your life to rate your success will be really helpful in this exercise. So one of the things that we need to give up in order to become more successful is an unhealthy lifestyle. I'm totally guilty. I am totally guilty. You know, I have a big old sweet tooth and a big old salty tooth. And you know, the whole reason I created this channel was because I had basically ruined my life from drinking. Now I've made great strides in the past several months. You know, I've um, I've been sober for almost nine months now. I've dropped almost, I've dropped 40 pounds and you know, I'm, I'm starting to make great strides in getting rid of that unhealthy lifestyle. But confession time, I still smoke. I smoke about a pack a day and every single day I'm, I, I, I take a step closer to quitting because I don't like the way that it smells on me. I don't like the way that it makes my lungs feel. I don't f like that I'm constantly feeling clogged up. I don't like having something so stupid have that much control over me. And unfortunately, um, a very dear friend of mine actually just passed away this past week from uh, complications from COPD. Um, which she, you know, she she got because of smoking. My mom has COPD because of smoking, and so I see all as I get older. I see more and more people around me adversely affected by this unhealthy habit. That it's really starting to push me closer and closer to eliminating it from my own life. So definitely something that I need to work on in order to be more successful. Another thing that we might need, that we will need to give up on is a short-term uh, mindset, a short-term mindset. And what that means is, you know, with social media and with ever, uh, technology just so rapidly advancing like it has been, you know, we have reached the point where we expect immediate gratification in everything that we do. You know, when I swipe a card, I immediately accept, uh, expect to get something in return. When I go to the toilet, if you actually have to flush the toilet, I'm like, I don't know what to do. What to do? 
I expect to go, get up, and it flush itself. I expect water to come on for me. I expect that immediate gratification. I go to a sink and I have to flip, a fa flip up a faucet. Are you serious? What world are we living in? Insane! But instead of, you know, expecting that immediate gratification all of the time, you know, we need to have a mindset of what we're, what our life is going to look like in the future. And I'm finding this extremely difficult. And yet, as I move forward and things start uh, coming back towards me because of the work that I put in, I'm grateful for it. And so I constantly have to remind myself of thinking big picture, thinking long term, and knowing that the steps that I'm doing today will help me become more successful and be more of the person that I want to be long term. Another thing that we will need to give up is playing small. And essentially what that means is hiding in the shadows, you know, not willing to step out into the light and take a risk. You know, it's so easy to stay where we're comfortable and stay on the sofa and stay in that job that we've been doing for 20 plus years or whatever because we know it, because we, um, you know, we're, we're, uh, we've gotten into that habit, that routine. It's so easy to stay with the same clique of friends because, you know, we don't want to break loose or be different or, or, you know, step out on our own. It's easy to be that way. But if we want to become more of the person that we can be, then it is essential to stop thinking small and take those risks. Another thing that we're going to have to give up on is excuses. And I would do this all the time. Um, and I still do this on, you know, a pretty regular basis. You know, I want, I wanted to shoot these videos. Oh, but I can't. I worked today. I'm kind of tired. I think I'll just take a nap and eat some nachos on the sofa. Oh, I'm tired. Excuses get in the way of our productivity. Excuses block us from, you know, achieving goals that we want to achieve, whether it be in business, whether it be financially, whether it be in relationships. You know, for the longest time, you know, I kind of uh, uh, kept to myself at, in, inside the house. I didn't want to get out and meet any people because I was too busy, you know. I have a business to run, I've got a job to go to, I've got a family to be around, I've got, uh, you know, all these other different things, I've got a book to write, and even way before the book and way before the business is in way, I would always make excuses, especially not to go out with other people. Well, I am breaking down that barrier and I've got a date tomorrow, which is super exciting. It's someone I've been uh, talking to for a little over a month online now and we're actually going to go and have lunch um, tomorrow and, um, you know, see where it goes. So I'm taking a risk, I'm breaking down that barrier, I'm not making excuses and I'm getting out there and I'm meeting other people. I'm getting out there and I'm working towards the goals that I want. I'm done with excuses because all they've done is hold me back. Another thing that we need to get rid of is having a fixed mindset. And this can be a tough one because many of us believe that we are a product of our circumstances. We, um, you know, it was the way we were brought up. You know, if you were brought up in the slums, you know, it's so hard to get out of that, you know, that environment and that concrete jungle and, and then out of poverty and things like that. We are a product of, you know, the talents that we were given and the education that we were given. And there's no way that we could ever break down those barriers. Well, that, my friends, is bull crap because so many people have done it before us and so many people are doing it now. They're not allowing their, um, their condition to hold them back. And so we have to break that fixed mindset and know that we can do other things outside of, you know, what we were taught or, you know, the, um, the environment that we grew up in. 
right now I am working in an industry that I never even imagined myself working in. And because I did the work and because I was inquisitive and excited to learn something new, I am now, you know, thriving in that business. And it feels pretty good. I can walk around that place with my head held high, knowing that I am awesome at what I'm doing right there. And the thing is with, I love to learn new things. And so I love breaking down that mindset. And I hope, I hope that you can do that too. Another thing that we need to give up is that magic bullet theory. We think that some magic little pill is going to cure all of our problems and makes make us successful in every department of our life you know if we could just win the lottery our finances will be clear our relationships will be better life will be grand until it's not you know most lottery winners end up broke or dead within you know I think the statistic is five years because there is no magic bullet. Nothing is going to cure all of our problems so that we can become successful. The only thing that is going to help us be successful is to work for our success and be persistent and keep on going and don't let obstacles get in our way. And this happens across the board financially, in business, in relationships, in spirituality, in health. All of these successes come with hard work, come with determination, come with persistence, and come with the attitude of nothing is going to stand in my way. There is no magic bullet, unfortunately, my friends. Another thing that the author suggests we get rid of is perfectionism. And I was a criminal at this. It held me back so much because I would never release anything until it was absolutely perfect. And guess what? It was never perfect. It could never be perfect. And so I would never get out there. I wasn't going to go to that audition until I knew I was the best and perfect actor in the entire world. Guess what? That held me back from going on so many auditions because I wanted to be perfect. I wanted just everything to be perfect. And God, how stressful that was. Another thing that we need to give up on is multitasking. And I've been preaching this for months. Focus on one or two things at a time. That's it. In fact, one is best. One focus on one thing at a time. And there's a great quote on, um, I forget who it's by, but it's how can we get to our destination if we keep throwing rocks at every dog that barks? And it's so true. If we have a goal that we want to achieve and you know we're working to it and all of a sudden we stop and do this thing, and then we stop and do this thing, and then we stop and do this thing, then we're never moving forward. We're just going back and forth and back and forth. And I am terrible at this. I have to admit, I am awful at this. I preach and I preach and I preach about focusing on one thing at a time, but it's so hard when there's so many cool things that I want to do. You know, I'm going to work. And you know, while I'm at work, I'm focused on work. And then I'm going to school. And when I'm focused on school, I'm going to school. And I'm building a business. I'm focused on that business. And then I'm trying to build relationships and I'm doing that. And so every single day, I'm back and forth and back and forth. It's exhausting. <laughs> it's exhausting. And so, you know, what I'm finding is my progress in any one area is kind of held back because I'm shifting my focus back and forth and back and forth. And it's crazy how time consuming and how energy draining it all is when we focus, when we don't just focus on one thing. And I have been, when I have my 100% complete focus on one thing, I tell you what, that thing always gets done. And it's always, eh, not always, but 
a lot of the times it's brilliant because I put my heart, I put my soul, and I put my energy into that one thing. I just kind of had a magic moment right there. <laughs> anyway, it, focusing that attention on one thing. Whew. All right. Another thing that we need to give up is the need to control everything. I don't know about you, but I am a control freak. I like to have control in my hands and every little thing that I do because it gives me power. It makes me feel important. I want control. And over at work, I have a trainee. And so, no, I'm, I'm, do, I'm not micromanaging. I am I'm forcefully, <laughs> Um, you know, a, a, a keeping a mindset of not to micromanage, you know, but I kind of like having control over what happens in my department. It's fun. Um, but when I start controlling how he does it or where he does it or, you know, all this other stuff, that's when things start unraveling and some tension starts happening. We need to stop having control over everything or at least needing control over everything. Another thing that will help us become more successful is not to say yes to things that don't help us achieve our goal, that don't help propel us forward. And this, I do this all the time too. I want to be a people pleaser. And so, you know, I'm, I'll be like, oh yeah, I can help you out with that. Oh yeah, I can help you out with that. Oh, I'd be happy to do this. Oh yeah, I'll stay late. Oh yeah, I'll come in early. Oh yeah, we can drive here. And then all of a sudden, I'm helping everyone else uh, accomplish their goals and yet mine are falling all by the wayside. We need to know the power of no, you know, and you know, it's taken me a long time to say, nope, I'm sorry, that doesn't really fit into my narrative. Or, no, I've got other things that I need to do. No, I don't want to hang out with you. No, no, no. That's a powerful word. And it kind of feels empowering when, when I get to use it. You know, um, not spreading myself so thin with other people's business and more so focusing on my own. And speaking of people, another thing that we need to give up on is toxic people. I've done a whole video on this about how we need to cut loose the people that don't serve us and who just bring toxicity into our life. And then another thing that we need to give up is the need to be liked. You know, I went through high school and I was a social butterfly and I bounced from group to group to group to group because I wanted everyone to like me. Well, here's the bottom line. When we're on our way to success, we are naturally going to find people who don't like us. It's up to you how you determine uh, how to move forward with that. You can people please all you want, but all you're doing is wasting time and energy because chances are they probably won't ever like you because they see qualities in themselves that they wish they didn't have or probably more so the case, is that they see qualities in you that they wish they had. You know, you're moving forward, you're going for your goals, you're ambitious, and so naturally they're going to be jealous and they will not like you. And the last thing that the author suggests that we get rid of, and I totally agree, is our dependency on social media and TV. You know. We only have a limited time on this planet. Do we really want to use it, couch potato, potatoing and living vicariously through other people's lives rather than living our own and becoming the most successful person that we could possibly be? I know I don't. And while, <clears throat> you know, I go through social media, I'll scroll, I'll admit it. Um, you know, I'll have Netflix on, I'll binge every once in a while. But a lot of times when I'm doing that, I'm working and I use it as background noise. I, I need to have some sort of noise in the background in order to, and I, I don't know, it sounds weird. I need it there to block it out 
so that I can focus. And it's, it might be a strange thing. Maybe other people will like it. I like that. I don't know. But um, I, I love being able to turn my phone into airplane mode and just focusing on me and what I need to do in that moment. In fact, right now I've got my phone on airplane mode so that I can shoot these videos. Even though I wanted to take, even though I wanted to continue to take a nap and I wanted to just veg out and watch Netflix, that's not serving me and it's certainly not serving my audience. And when they were wrapping up this uh, overview of the article on the radio, I heard one of the coolest lines that I have ever heard. And I, I, I wish I remembered who had said it, but they said that the definition of hell is, let's see here. Yeah, the definition of hell is having your current self meet who you could have been. My friends, it's time to stop playing small. It's time to start taking risks. It's time to get rid of that perfectionism and that need to control so that we can become the person that we were meant to be. I know you have it in you. I know I have it in me. And I hope that you are on a, a journey to, uh, to success. I hope you got value out of this. If you did, please make sure to comment down below. I would love to know what your journey of success looks like. What are you doing in order to become more successful in your business, in your relationship, in the other aspects of your life? Also, give this video a big old thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that bell when you subscribe so you get notified each time I create a video. Thanks, my friends. Take care.